Hey guys, how's it going? Matt Bell here. We're uh, we're doing a little trial of a live stream thing. Wanted to uh, let you guys know that we're um, trying a couple new things for you guys. We're going to let me click this off. That thing is rolling. All right. Um, not, I want that to go away. All right. Um, yeah. Hey, what's going on? Where are you guys? Uh, where are you guys seeing? You're seeing this on Facebook, right? Um, we are working on, uh, like I said, some new things for you guys to see if this is going to um, do what it's supposed to do. Everybody's out there. What's up, Ariella? Megan? Everybody's here. Um, do you guys? Um, did you guys see what we're going to be doing tomorrow? We're going to be doing. Uh, we've got a new. What's up, Justin? We've got a new violin at the shop that we want to try out for you guys. It is the um, the Gava Novita. I don't know if you guys saw that on our Instagram today. <clears throat> it's a really cool instrument. We've got a four string and a five string. Um, yeah, you're on YouTube. Awesome. Um, Megan, are you on the Electric Violin Shop YouTube or my YouTube? I got to make sure that it's going to the right one. <laughs> um, the Novita is a, is a pretty cool instrument. I saw it in NAMM last year, and I thought it sounded great. Uh, I did not think it felt great. It had a really, um, it had a really wonky... Um, oh, awesome. Thank you. What's up, Leandro? Um, the Gava Novita uh, thing had a really wonky like shoulder rest, and uh, the instrument sounded fantastic, but um, it just felt like garbage um, and uh, yeah thanks Matt um, so we talked to them and got them to redesign the shoulder rest thing now it's got a device it's got like a little spider web looking thing and you can put your own shoulder rest on there I know that's a thing that we hear from a lot of people on some instruments that don't have um, like the Jordans or the NS design that you have to use their shoulder rest um, sometimes we hear from people that, hey, uh, I want to use my shoulder rest. It took me like forever to figure out uh, a shoulder rest that I liked. Um, so I want to use my shoulder rest. So we were telling Gava that and they actually listened, which is a wonderful, amazing thing when, um, you know, we talk to customers all day, every day. And when uh, we tell manufacturers what the customers are saying, uh, when they listen, that's really nice. Uh, we like that. So um, they actually listened to us. They designed a thing that goes underneath the violin that you can uh, you can attach your shoulder rest to the bottom of this violin. And now we're excited about it. It's ready to go. Um, it's got a built-in headphone amp in it. Like I said, there's it's available in four string and five string. It's available in brown and black. Um, it's got an EQ on it, a treble and a bass that actually makes sense for violins, which is a crazy thing. Sometimes uh, these violin manufacturers will put a tone knob in a violin, but pretty much all the tone knobs out there are built for guitars. So it sweeps in a frequency range that doesn't really make any sense for a violin. Uh, the Gava thing actually makes sense where the treble and the bass boost and cut are for this violin. So that's a wonderful thing. Uh, price is going to be in the neighborhood of a thousand bucks. I think there's, you know, maybe right at a, like $9.99 for the four string, I think. Um, and maybe just over that for the five string. I'm not at the shop right now, obviously. I'm at my house. Um, but I will firm all those numbers up for you guys tomorrow. So anyway, we're going to play the violin tomorrow. And the Gava people are going to be there uh, to answer some questions. If you guys are dumping comments and uh, questions in the comments section, the Gava people will be logged in and they can answer those questions because I didn't make this violin. I don't know all of the things about it. I tried to learn as much as I could, but you guys always manage to ask questions that I don't know the answer to. So it's nice to have the manufacturer there or a rep from the manufacturer so they can answer those questions. So uh, anyway, I think this is going to wrap up like my uh, little live stream uh, trial, but thank you guys for, for hanging out. I'm probably going to delete this anyway. Felt cute. Might delete this later. <laughs> All right, yeah, so this is a trial, basically. Oh, and I'm using like a real microphone. Oh, look at this. What's up, microphone? 
Uh, I'm gonna use a, we're trying, we're trying some things. We're trying to bring you guys a little bit higher quality content on our, on our Facebook and our YouTube um, so that you guys can, you guys can hear better because a lot of people base their buying decisions off of what they see and hear on our website. So um, yeah, the better microphone we got and the better video quality and the better, uh, you know, everything, the better we can do for you, the better you can do for yourself. And I don't know. I, okay. That's crazy. All right. What's up, Andy Reiner? Hopefully you're surviving all this good. Hope there's some good skiing out where you are at least, right? Can you ski with all this nonsense going on? Is that a social distancing activity, skiing? If you guys don't follow Andy Reiner, you need to follow him. He's the skiing fiddler. Um, you can follow him on Instagram and Facebook and YouTube. Um, he's a hell of a player and a great teacher and a cool dude. And uh, he, he always dresses well. So, yeah, follow Andy Reiner, the skiing fiddler. Um, yeah, that's my commercial for you, man. And, uh, yeah, so anyway, hope, hope it looks good, sounds good. We're going to try out some things that hopefully are going to... Um, ski areas are closed. Gah! Stinking virus. All the bike parks are closed, too, man. My son's a BMX rider, and he's losing his mind right now. Ski uphill. It's too much work, man. If I want to work that hard, I'd get a job. Ski downhill we like. Downhill's good. Um, let gravity do the work. Um... Yeah, if you guys haven't seen Andy, he can ski and play his fiddle at the same time, which is pretty stinking cool. Um, and since, uh, yeah, hey, hey, everybody. My dad's here. My uh, cousin Jane's here. Everybody's here. Andy's playing these dark fiddle tunes in 13.8. That's awesome. <laughs> What's up, Sarah? Hope you guys are doing well. Uh I guess we'll just ask some questions. How's everybody surviving like the complete and total devastation of their income right now? Is everybody, are you guys playing for uh, playing for tips on online or, or are you able to do online lessons? What's everybody doing for income right now? Um, I've got the shop. I can still work there and uh, that's good. And my wife, is, her job sort of lends itself well to working from home. So yeah. Um, Hope you guys are sort of hanging in there on the income side. I know like things are just starting to spool up, right? Winter's sort of the dead time for musicians and things are starting to spool up like springtime and holy crap, no income for the next three months. Yeah, not cool. Um, I actually did get a notification today. I'm supposed to do like a little acoustic duo with somebody in April. And they were like, well, it hasn't officially been canceled yet. I'm like, yeah, okay. <laughs> it will be, but okay. Um, ugh, man, I'm so sorry to hear about you guys losing all that stuff. Made a hundred bucks in tips the other day. That's cool. Yeah. Are, are people tipping well online? I'm not doing any, I'm not asking for any tips because like I said, we're in pretty decent shape with my wife's gig and all that. Um, I'm trying to leave the tip money for those of you that are relying on this to pay all your bills. Public schools are still paying. Hua, Uncle Sam still got money. He just prints some if he runs out. Hopefully, they're gonna figure out how to get a little help to everybody soon. Um, I think it's gonna make people a little more interested in staying home if uh, if like they know they're not gonna starve to death because they're like, hey, everybody, stay home. And by the way, we're not gonna give you any money. Well, you get one or the other, okay? Because it's like. I'm a little bit afraid of maybe getting a virus, but I absolutely will go hungry if I don't make some money. So I think that's where a lot of people are. Um, 30 bucks. Ugh. Well, hopefully, hopefully it gets better than that soon. Diesel mechanic. Yeah, people's motors are still breaking, although people aren't really, uh, people aren't really driving as much, which could be an issue. Um, although rather than people buying new stuff, they might be fixing what they got. So. Hopefully mechanics will be doing okay. Um, I'm actually in the middle of trying to get a, uh, I've got a little video collab. Some of you guys may have seen, I posted a thing on Facebook last night asking if anybody wanted to jump in and uh, and do a video thing with me. It's a secret until it comes out. I got my players, actually. I, 
I asked for what a, a violin, a viola, and a cello, and I had like forty people go. I'll do it. Apparently, everybody's bored, or uh, they think I'm more interesting than I am. Maybe they're, maybe y'all are thinking that I got something really interesting coming. Maybe I do. Maybe I don't. Um. So yeah, hopefully I'll be getting everybody's. Um, uh, hopefully I'll be getting everybody's videos back soon, and we'll get a little project out to you guys. Uh, Megan, she's canceling everything, trying to keep uh, trying to keep expenses low. Man, this sucks. Well, that's cool. Justin, you didn't stream before. Um, Andy, I try to be interesting. I'm not as I'm not as interesting as you, Andy. I can't I can't like wear red pants and ski and play the fiddle at the same time. Um. Andy's got it going on, man. Um, Justin, you were streaming before, and you get a lot of exposure. Well, that's, you know, exposure is good. People die of exposure. That's all the uh, that's all the uh, the people that they don't want to pay you. They're like, well, there's going to be a lot of people here, and you can uh, you know you can get a lot of exposure. Tell you what, when you get my mortgage company to take exposure instead of cash, then we got ourselves a deal. Um, all right. Well, listen, everybody, it's been great to see all y'all's, uh, I haven't seen your faces, but I've seen your names and comments pop up. Uh, I'm looking forward to doing this live stream tomorrow. Hopefully we will be, I can't talk. That's bad because that's what I do for a living. Um, hopefully we will be able to get this thing going from the shop tomorrow, three o'clock Eastern time, three o'clock uh, Detroit time, three o'clock uh, Philadelphia time, three o'clock Savannah, Georgia time. Um, we will be uh, talking about the Geva Novita electric violin. It looks like Giwa, G E W A, but they're German, so it's Geva, and you have to. <gasps> Geva. Um, yeah. I didn't have that many gigs, but I was trying to get some. <laughs> um, I sort of took last year off to write this, uh, this, all this original music that I'm trying to trickle out to you guys now. Um, so I was hoping 2020 is going to be my year. That I was going to start uh, ramping up the uh, the solo work, and uh, yeah, that plan took a big fat dump. So yeah, I still I still technically have one gig on the books between now and like. November or something, uh, but it's about a hundred percent chance that's going to get canceled. So, all right, listen, y'all, y'all be safe, be cool, and I will see. I won't see you. You'll see me. I'll see your names pop up three o'clock tomorrow. Uh, hopefully, it'll actually be on the Electric Violin Shop Facebook account. I got one little uh, one little quirk to work out there. Um, yeah, that's right, Andy Pastor. Thank you, bro. Get a copy of my CD. You can go to my website, mattbellviolinist.com and uh, pick up a copy of that CD. I'll send it to you. It's got to be U.S. only. I actually have to send a note to somebody in Australia. Australia. See, Mike, he, uh, that's terrible. I'm not doing that. He, uh, a friend of mine in Australia tried to buy my CD and it was really nice. It was 10 bucks for the CD, but it's going to cost me like 30 to get it to him. So I'm going to be like, how about I just email you the, <laughs> the wave files? I'll take a picture of the CD and send it to you. I'll text it to you. Um, yeah, so anybody in the U.S., 10 bucks, I'll pay postage. You can have a copy of that CD. I'll even sign it for you. I'll write your dog's name or something on there if you want. Dear Ruf Rufus, dear Barfy, thanks for being a good boy, the bestest boy who ever boyed. All right. That's ridiculous. I'm going to see you guys tomorrow. All right. Take care. <laughs> see you.